Hey, what's up? <clears throat> it's me, Warren, here again for another video. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So, all right, so let's jump into this. So, I, the question I've been getting recently is should I post pictures on social media so my ex can see me glowing, coming up, leveling up, or whatever, or try to make them jealous, whatever, you know? And the other thing is because people bring it to my attention that other coaches say do it. So they want me to make a video to say my thoughts, my opinions on it. Now, first off, I don't have nothing against other coaches and stuff like that. If they give you nerdy ass advice, then take that shit. You know, if it works for you, then it works for you. But, you know, speaking from experience, and when I was going through what I was going through, similar to what you going through, I didn't post no goofy ass pictures online, you know, cause I wasn't in a position to show shit, you know. Um, and when I did heal and got to a position to um to um post pictures and stuff like that, I didn't give a fuck who see it. I'm posting pictures because I want to post pictures. It's my social media. I don't give a fuck if my ex like my, my past like see what I'm doing. I'm not living life for them so they can see what I'm doing. I can give a fuck about how they feel. Most people tell you to post these pictures to, to try to make their, to make your past loved one jealous. See, the thing is, you got to outgrow that mentality. You should have the mentality, I don't give a fuck about how they feel or if they jealous or not. See, if you're doing that shit to make them jealous, make them get a reaction out of you, or, I mean, reaction out of them or something like that, he's showing them, showing signs that you still care they still up here in your mental they still taking up space up here when i say they dead to you and they don't exist no more that means social media phone calls anything cut the motherfuckers off live life to the fullest how you want to be you no know, live life live life on your terms don't live life thinking and hoping like, okay, this is going to get, get a reaction out of somebody. Stop that shit. Remember this. Never live off the opinions of others. When you live off the opinions of others, you become a prisoner to their thoughts. No. Fuck that. Live off your opinions and thoughts. And always operate from a position of power. You want people to do what you say do. See, it's only two positions of power. You either put, you know, I'm sorry. There are only two positions. You want to operate from a position of power where you tell people, you know, what to do and you teach people what you like. Or you can be in a position of weakness and take orders. I know somebody out there like, no, one, I don't like that what you're saying. Well, turn the shit off. Turn it off. Go back over there to some little nerd and let him fuck your head up and stuff like that. So the thing is, if you want to post pictures or whatever you want to post pictures of on social media, that's your business. You do it because you want to. That's it. That's it. That's the reason why. You never do it to make someone jealous. You don't give a fuck about if how they feel or if they get jealous or if they see it. or You don't care. You know, you don't care. You don't wake up in the morning like, oh, 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 what I'm going to what I'm gonna post today to make them, you know, regret their decision. The truth is, nine times out of ten, them people don't even give a shit about what you post. They might watch it or be nosy or something like that. But at the end of the day, they don't care. You care. If you're watching videos to say, should I block them or not, you care. Now, the thing is, remember this. The person who cares less has the power. And remember, you know, relationships is all about power. Remember that. And the thing is, when you do what you do, you should have no feelings, no compassion, no remorse for the other side. Because think about it. If, do they have compassion, remorse? Do they consider you? Is you a priority to them? No. No, don't get caught up in playing games with people. Let people know that you is not to be played with. You do not get sucked into some little cat and mouse game online. Stop that shit. 
That shit for children. If you're a child watching this, stop that shit. You know, your main goal is to stay on your life purpose. You know, hustle until you come up. That's what you do. You don't give a shit about what somebody doing online. Should I post a picture to make them get a, you know, make them jealous or get a reaction? You don't give a shit. They dead to you. They dead to you. Post a picture online and say like, well, I'm gonna post a picture and see if, how many dead people respond to it. When the last time you seen dead people on social media? They dead to you. You don't care. But I know a lot of people are like, well, Warren, that don't make no damn sense. You sound mean. You sound hurt. Who hurt you, Warren? God damn, you so bitter and hateful and mean. I hate to be with you. God damn, Warren. Oh my God. I don't care. See, to understand this, the more wiser and woke you become, it repels them suck-ass people from your life. They gotta stay away from you because they can't manipulate you. They gonna call you all sorts of names and say you bitter, hurt, mean, all that good stuff like that, whatever it may be. But remember why. The reason why is because they can't manipulate you and you can't and you won't bend to their will. Remember, you always operate from a position of power and make people operate on what you say do. The hell with you no know, op- doing shit what other people say do. No. No. If it don't benefit you, don't do it. Plain and simple. You know. So, with that being said, if you'd like to get in contact with me, you know, you can shoot me an email. Email right there at the bottom of the screen. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to say things that you want to hear and it sound good. No, I'm going to tell you the truth. Because 80 years from now, the truth will not change. So, therefore, I will not change. And also... You can shoot me an email, I mean, um, text messages worldwide. Don't matter what country you're in, you know, um, we can set up a time to talk. You know, just follow the steps. Follow the steps I send you. And if you don't want to do that, you don't want to have a consultation, you know, one-on-one, you can just purchase my books. You know, even in my books, I do not sugarcoat it. You know, I tell you what to do, how to handle it. From my experience, see the thing, the separation line between me and them other coaches, they teaching from a point of, from the sideline. You know, if there was a game, they teaching from the sideline. Me, I'm a player and I'm the coach. You know, I go play in the game, then I come back on the sideline like, you know what, man, they playing tough today. So this is what the play right here, this is the move we going to bust right here. This is what we going to do so we can win this thing together. You know, just know the difference. Take a pinch of, take some people advice with a pinch of salt. Even mine, even mine. God gave you a personality and a brain for yourself. Use it. Now, with that being said, I'm gone. Peace. I'm out.